Hi, this is Bill from Molten Voltage, and today I'm here to show you MIDI Delation, our analog delay control station. MIDI Delation can control analog delays, including the MXR Carbon Copy, the Maleco Echo 616, and the Maleco Dark Echo. In order to do that, the delay has to be modified, the delay pot's removed, and a little RCA jack is put in its place. And then it can connect over to MIDI Delation here using a standard RCA cable. We have tutorials on our website that show you how to do the mod yourself if you're handy with a soldering iron. It's not real tricky, but it is possible to screw up your delay. If you want to have us do it, um, you can email us for more information. We do it at a very reasonable cost. Now, the MXR Carbon Copy and the Maleco pedals can get a huge range of sounds out of them, but if you just have the standard analog pedal on your board, you're pretty much limited to the sound you dial in. Otherwise, you have to bend over between songs and be a little knob goblin turning knobs while you're supposed to be concentrating on the music. What MIDI Delation allows you to do is to synchronize to MIDI Clock, so you can tap in a tempo on your MIDI controller and have the delay time in sync with that, along with all your other pedals that can sync up to MIDI Clock. And at this point, there's well over 50 of them. If you want to see the whole list, go over to the Molten Voltage website and look at the Master Control, which is this one right here. And there's a list of all the pedals that can sync up to MIDI Clock now. MIDI Delation also allows you to store 128 different presets. So you can get 128 different preset sounds set up on your analog delay. And this isn't just the delay time. It also includes a tap ratio. You can have... You can have quarter notes, which is the tap time. You can have dotted eights, which is like U2. And then you can have triplets. Da, 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 In addition, you can also have MIDI delation. Rather than sync up to a MIDI clock, you can make it so you can set the delay time independently if you want a really fast delay time for a particular song and you don't want it synced to that slower clock. You can do that as well. You'll hear that when we do some of the presets in a minute. On top of that, you can adjust the modulation rate and depth right here on top of the MIDI delation pedal and save that as part of the preset. Because normally with the MXR Carbon Copy, you actually have to open up the pedal and turn these two little, they're called trim pots, and you turn them with a screwdriver to adjust the modulation. And on the Maleco Echo, there's two tiny little knobs that you, you can adjust on the outside to adjust the modulation. But with MIDI delation, you're able to access those very easily and also store them as part of the preset. So anyway, let's, let's check out the, some of the sounds you can get out of this. So the first preset I'm going to show you here is just a simple quarter note delay. Now if you want a faster delay time, you just tap it in. Now if we wanted to store that as a preset, all you got to do is toggle this little program switch down then up again. And you saw the little green light here flash, that means it's stored. So it'll be synced up to whatever this incoming MIDI clock is. Now with the carbon copy, you can also get a really nice chorusy sound. So that's what we have for our first preset. Now preset three here is kind of a modest mouse kind of a. The delayed sound has a real heavy modulation on it. So it's like a, a hard detune. Sound number four is more of a slapback. And, say, and see, that one's actually independent of the MIDI clock. So if we want it a little faster, we can just speed it up here. And then again, to store that as a preset, down then up again with this little toggle switch. Preset number five here is more of a kind of a vibrato sound.
And another one I find really useful, especially with a carbon copy, because it has such a nice sounding buffer in it, is to pin the delay time as fast as you possibly can. So you put it over on triplets and you just crank it all the way up. So you have virtually no delay time at all. And then you can use it more of as a clean boost. <laughs> Uh, you can hear the difference without the pedal. It's but with the pedal, it just gives it that little extra bite. Anyway, you can get an enormous range of sounds out of these analog delays. And when you have the ability to store each of those sounds as a preset, then you can call them up. It's like having 128 different analog delays on your board all at once. Anyway, those are the basics of MIDI delation. If you have any other questions, you can always email me over at questions at moltenvoltage.com. Thanks a lot.